Hey guys, um, I wanted to pop in here real quick because I don't know where this is going to fit in in the vlogs. I don't know where this is going to go, but I needed to sit down and I needed to talk to you guys about it. Um, I weighed myself for the first time in a really long time this past Saturday and I am the heaviest that I have ever been. I'm really struggling with consistency. I'm struggling with honestly just starting and sticking to it. I'm really, really struggling right now. Um, I did download the Noom app because I have heard really good things about that. And I think it's, I mean, I know that I have to be more consistent with going into the gym, but I think it's a lot of my appetite too. Um, I started tracking and I noticed that I wasn't even eating a thousand calories a day. Um, one day I barely hit 600 and that is not the lifestyle I want to live. That is not healthy. That is not where I want to be. Um, I just had a lot of realizations this past weekend strictly from that, which is really crazy because it's like you always hear like, based on how you feel, but I feel like getting on the scale this time, it was really scary. It was really hard. And it was like a, a hard truth that I needed to see the numbers on the scale to really like sink into my brain that something has to change. Like it's not, I'm not healthy right now. Um, I'm not getting the nutrition that I, the nutrition that I need. I'm not getting anything really. I barely eat in the day. It's not because I am not trying to like just sometimes the thought of food. I just, I, I physically like can't eat. Like I will gag if I try and force myself to eat when I'm just not hungry. Um, I have done things to counteract the appetite, which help, but it's not helping enough where I, I am constantly hungry or like hungry at the right times. Like I don't even get hungry until 12 right now. Full disclosure, it's 1245 and I have had one heated up breakfast sandwich because I'm just not that hungry. I'm lazy. Like when it comes to cooking, I am so lazy and I just need to not be because if I don't do it, nobody else is going to do it for me. I have to commit to myself and I have to commit that this journey is something that I really want to go on. And it is because I don't like the way that I feel right now. I wake up with stomach problems a lot. I am tired at about three o'clock. I take a nap almost every single day. I'm not sleeping great. My moods have been all over the place. I do deal with mental health, which I've said multiple times. Um, and I think that that has something to do with it. I've been struggling with it very hard the past month. So I think that has also played into me using an, it as an excuse to just feed into my pleasures, my guilty pleasures, which is not taking care of myself apparently. Um, and that needs to change. So I wanted to make this statement on my YouTube channel because I want this channel, I want the vlogs um, to really kind of just focus on me trying to just be healthy in the best way that I know how. Um, I'm not going to say that this works for everyone. Please do not follow my lead. I consult with your healthcare professional. I am not a healthcare professional. Do what feels right for you. It might be different than what feels right for me. Um, but I want to share this journey because I know that I am not the only person that has either gone through this, has felt this way, will be going through this in the future. Um, and I just don't think that it is really talked about enough. Um, I know sometimes people say, oh, I fell off for like a week. I have not been consistent in the gym for probably a year. I go probably two to three times a week for two to three weeks at a time and then I just stop. 
and then the cycle repeats itself. Um, so I wouldn't say that I've been consistent in the gym in a long time. I suck at eating. I'm hungry, but I like fill up so fast. I don't know. I suck at eating. I'm getting a gut test when I get back from my vacation. I'm working with my doctor and I, I'm just ready for this shit to change, honestly. Like I'm fed up with the way that I feel. I'm fed up with the way that I look because I know that I am contributing to it. I am not working out. I am not eating what I need to be eating. I am not taking care of my body and I have to do it. So all of that to come on here to say that my vlogs are now going to be a journey. It's going to be a journey of me wanting to just be healthy and falling on my ass sometimes. And I think it's going to be really good for me to document it because that is accountability in and of itself. Um, but I also feel like it's, it's going to be good for someone else out there because if anyone else is going through this, please leave a comment down below because I think that there is a community of people who are going through the same thing that I'm going through where it's just like you get motivated for a couple of weeks and then you stop. And it's like for me, I'm either balls to the wall or I'm absolutely like sitting on the couch eating McDonald's watching TV all day. There has never been a healthy in-between for me and I am almost 30 years old and I need to find that balance. So if you are going through the same thing, leave a comment below. I will start, I will leave a comment so that it's down there. Nobody feels like they have to start. Um, I will leave, just if you're leaving, if you have a struggle, just leave a heart, something. So we know that we are all going through this at the same time. I am excited for where these are gonna take me because this is a commitment that I'm putting out on the internet and I know you guys will hold me accountable. And that's why I wanted to sit down and I wanted to have this chat with you because it's been running through my head and sitting down here and talking to you guys, talking to a camera is almost like my therapy because I just get word vomit and I start speaking. So I think this is gonna be really therapeutic. I think this is gonna be really hard in the sense that I will have to push myself when I don't want to. I will, I, it's going to be an interesting journey to say the least, but I think I'm going to put this in my packing vlog because the thing that really prompted it too was I was trying on clothes for going to Oregon and San Diego and like none of my bottoms fit. None of my jeans fit. I have two pairs of jeans that fit. I have one pair of jean shorts that fit and I have been lying to myself and just living in active wear and it's it's really humbling to try on clothes that fit three months ago and now they don't they don't even make it past your knees it just sucks but if you guys are struggling I'm here. I'm with you. I am going through this as well. I really am disappointed in myself. Um, I didn't think I was going to get choked up over this, but I really am disappointed in myself that I have let myself get here, that I have let my mental health take such a physical toll on me, where now I am seeing the consequences and I'm very self-conscious about the consequences. And I know that I come on here and I say like, oh, I want to create bo body positivity. I have cellulite. I, I am a normal girl. Um, I also have not been taking care of myself. I don't drink enough water. Like I just, I have not been taking care of myself. And it sucked when I tried on all the clothes I wanted to bring to San Diego and none of them fit. Um, it's just, I have to look at it like motivation. Like, yeah, it sucks. It really sucks. But it's motivation. It's the kick in the ass that I needed. And I hope that if you're watching this and it hits home with you, I really hope that you'll follow along because I need your guys' support. And I'm going to need you guys there to remind me, to help me. Um, I'm sensitive, so please be nice. <laughs> 
uh, yeah, that was my long rant, um, 10 minute rant. I was looking for the time on the screen. That was my 10 minute rant about just kind of where I'm at and where I want this channel to go, um, where at least where I want the vlogs. I still will do all of the activewear try-ons because I think it's very important for me to keep doing that because I definitely feel like I am filling a space um, in the internet that is not currently being filled and I love when you guys comment that like Lisa I love that she comments every single time just such motivating and nice things on my videos I look forward to her comments every single video um, but that is where I want this vlog channel to go is to continue somewhere positive. I feel like I'm just rambling. None of this makes sense. Long story short, I appreciate you guys. I'm going to need you through this next chapter. I hope that if you come back, I hope that it's a source of comfort. I hope that my channel is a place where you can see that I don't, I, I'm not an aesthetic person. Um, I live in a rental house that is way too old like they're still, it's so old. Um, I don't have the Instagrammable kitchen. I am not. Long ramble. All to say that this new journey I'm on, I'm excited. I'm scared. I'm going to need you along the way. And I hope that my vlogs will bring you some sort of comfort if you're going through the same thing. If we fall on our butts together, at least we're all together. Um, I want this to be a safe place where if you are struggling, you can come and you can, we can talk it out and I just want my space on the internet to be a safe space for everyone and I just hope by me sharing some of my struggles you'll find comfort. So let's just make this happy and let's do a fun packing vlog, okay? I love you guys so much. I love you. Thank you. Hi guys. So <clears throat> as you can tell, it it's the next day. I look completely different. But today we are going to do a packing vlog so what i am doing right now which i wanted to let you guys know like a little packing hack is i do my makeup like the day before today obviously i'm doing this packing vlog so i just figured might as well put a little something something on the face but what i do is i pack as i apply so I am using this, this is from Amazon. I love it, it's huge. So hopefully a lot of makeup fits in here. Um, it does have pockets on the inside. I guess I can like stick the brushes in there, but so what I have applied so far, this will be like a little mini get ready with me too, is NARS Paint Pot Soft Matte Complete Concealer. That's what it is. Um, color custard, the Bobbi Brown corrector in light bisque, and then the painterly paint pot from MAC. So this I use on my face, which you just saw, touch up red spots, whatever. This I use underneath my eye. Don't mind my one thumb. I will be painting my nails. I just want to make sure I like the color. Um, but Bobbi Brown, the under eye corrector in light bisque, I love this. It, I don't get, like I have huge bags, so I'm not expecting it to cover that, but I do get a little bit of like purpleness on the inside too. That takes care of that. And then obviously painterly paint pot for the eyelids. Now I'm doing like a super, super light look today because I don't need that much makeup. So next what I'm going to do is, now I'm just gonna conceal like under my eyes a little bit. Makeup Forever HD Concealer. There we go. Also, so that vibration was Libby Christensen. She just replied to my Instagram story. Um, I bought Legos. Like I bought a Lego set, guys. I am so stinking excited. Um, she says that she loves it for just like putting in a podcast and relaxing and like not watching TV which honestly I need to stop watching TV because I've been watching so much because I haven't been doing very well mentally. So TV for me is like literally turning off my brain. Um, but 
she said that she listens to a podcast and does that. And I was like, I need something else to do. So let me buy that. And then I looked and if you don't know, sorry, I'm looking for a specific brush. There we go. If you don't know, Legos are freaking expensive. Okay. Like I saw this set. I was looking at like, she did the Taj Mahal or something. And that that's like a hundred bucks, which one day I hope that I can afford to spend a hundred dollars on Legos. Honestly, like that's a goal in life. And I think that's a really attainable goal. Uh, anyway, um, this was on sale for $40, which normally is 50. I know only saving 10, but Hey, I like to save money when I can. And also I did use it as an excuse. So there's that, but let me show you. Let me just show you. Look at this. There we go. Look at that. I am so excited. If you don't know, my boyfriend has a Jeep. He is obsessed with Jeeps. He loves his Jeep. So I thought that would be a fun little thing. Um, I'm really freaking excited. I don't know if you can tell because I've said it so many times, but I just love things that completely shut my mind off. And honestly, if that does that, I will be investing in more. So there's that. So right now, all I'm doing is I'm taking a, like, this is a Sephora 57 brush. It's a pro concealer. It's like a dense, fluffy brush. There we go. And I'm just blending in the concealer. I don't think I'm actually going to put foundation on today, but I will be throwing some of my favorite foundations in there. Um, I think the reason I like to watch packing vlogs so much is because you get to see like what they really bring. So like what their favorite thing is. And it's like a mini favorites, honestly. And I just love getting new product ideas because um, they say money doesn't buy happiness, but truly like the serotonin level, like levels, the serotonin boost that I feel, um, I would say different. I definitely think that like retail therapy is a thing because it's like the excitement of adding to cart, like searching for the thing, getting the thing, and then having it show up, unboxing the, like, it's a whole serotonin process that I have now become addicted to. Um, and I just like to see what people are buying. So, okay, I'm gonna stop rambling and hustle through this makeup. Real quick, um, if you don't have the Lumify eye drops, focus. I think I'm almost out actually. Um, buy these because my allergies are absolutely insane. I look stoned all the time. Even if I'm not, I look stoned. Um, so these make your eyes so white. I am obsessed with these because I, like, even when I am high, I don't even like to go out in public because I just don't like people knowing for some reason, even though like I don't care. Like I'll, I'll, freely say that I, I smoke weed, but I never want people to like see me high. I don't know. But this also helps because allergies. Um, I've always had super bad allergies, but also I don't think I've told you guys where I'm going. Um, I will be going to Oregon to visit my mom's side of the family. And then directly after that, my mom and I are going to fly back home to San Diego and I'm gonna stay the week back home in San Diego. Just kind of see some friends, hang out, and just have like a chill beach vacation. If you didn't know, I am from San Diego. Um, I would say born and raised, but I did move there in like, I think it was second grade. So I wasn't born and raised, but I guess it's my home. I lived there from second grade till I graduated high school. Um, but yeah, I am really excited. So basically like Portland gets hot. It can get really, really hot, but also like I was looking at the weather and it doesn't seem like it's gonna get that hot. Yeah, like right now it's 75, but it also says yesterday it was like 92. So I truly am packing for two completely different like trips in one trip. So I am filming it because I am a notorious overpacker for everything. I go on like a weekend vacation and I need a suitcase. Just like, I 
I like a bunch of shit. I like options, okay? <laughs> I like options, that's my thing. But that's why I wanted to film a packing vlog because I feel like it will make me narrow it down because I just, I'll, it'll be on the internet. So it's like, why do you need to bring all of this stuff, Kelsey? You really, really don't. Let's put some of it back. Um, and I'm just like, I, like I said in the beginning, I like to watch packing vlogs. So I hope that you guys like this packing vlog. Um, if you have any questions about any products, clothes, anything like that, leave a comment down below. So I do try and condense like my makeup brushes. I try not to bring as many. So I am leaving like the ones that I have already used out and I'm gonna try and repurpose uh, these as many times as I can. Okay, I need to wet my beauty blender and I need to delete some footage off of here so I can continue talking about nothing. Okay, so I do use a different, like this is just a concealer that I got for like a sample in Sephora. This is not my shade at all. Uh, but what I do use this for is the contouring of like the middle of my face. So I will use it for my nose. And the reason I do this is no other reason than um, I have it. Uh, I need to use it and I think contouring your face with like multiple different colors is like the most natural. I'm not saying you have to go out and buy like multiple different colors, but if you do have like this, like I got just randomly in a Sephora sample thing, um, it's just a way to use like what you have. I said I was gonna stop talking. But I got this mirror from Amazon and I am obsessed. It's like a travel mirror. Weird, you guys can see yourself, hi. Um, it's like a travel mirror. So you just press power. Oh, I do that every time you have to turn it on. And then power, and then you can switch like the coloring. I don't know if it's picking up, but. And it stands with itself. Um, so I love this. I get very weird lighting in here. Like some days it's really, really bright. Other days, half my face looks good. The other half does not. I brought out the mirror because this nose contour is looking a little, little wild. So I am using the um, number seven translucent powder for here, but I don't want to bring this big ass thing. And I do have the one size like travel. I, can, I just threw it in here. Here we go. I have the one size like travel translucent. So I'm going to bring this instead of this. Also, if you guys want like an updated uh, makeup routine, let me know because I can absolutely do that. I think it's been like since last year since I uploaded one and Pretty sure I do my makeup differently. Some of the products might be the same, but. I am gonna bring the full size Charlotte Tilbury though. Because, ooh, I should bring this in my carry-on. That's gonna go in my bag. Hey, you're coming with me. <laughs> when I am on vacation, truly, I really like to bring, like I said, um, options. So the plan here is that I'm going to throw everything I want out, which is normally what I do, like out so I can see it. I have all the possible bags that I can pack with. I brought them up from downstairs, so I have that. Um, but the goal is to just get everything out that I want so I can see it with, see what like I really don't need because I have this or vice versa, whatever. So I think that is going to be the game plan today. We will see how well that actually like plays out. Everywhere I go is going to be pretty sweaty. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to bring this little like Dior backstage primer that I got as like a sample and then this little milk primer bring those two. Didn't put on primer today because like I said, it's just going to be like a really simple look. I think I'm just going to throw on mascara and be done. So now you're going to see what I'm actually like going to pack for extras. Um, okay. So I start with primer. I got primer and then I start, I got 
those and then I need, does anybody else talk to themselves like this? Let me know because I need to feel like I am not insane. Insane in the membrane. Insane. Got no brain. Okay, so I'm bringing the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer for quick little morning walks because I know we're going to be doing that. Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter if I really just want to like, these are like my three die hard favorite foundation <coughs> foundations. I have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the color Fiji, uh, Dior Backstage in 2N. I am obsessed with this. I think this like reigns supreme and I think this is second and I think this is probably third, but I really haven't given this one too much of a shot in all honesty. Um, 1N14 Makeup Forever HD Skin. Do I bring all three? Um, okay, and then creams. I put those in. I do want to bring a couple of shades of blush just in case. I do have the Nudies Picante. This is um, Alana's color. I do have Joy from Rare Beauty and then Hope from Rare Beauty as well. So we have kind of the array going on. Honestly, with all this stuff, I'm only to here. So we're looking really good for this bag. Right now, these are like my two go-to palettes, the Makeup by Mario Master Mattes, and then the Dose of Color, pretty cool. Um, so I think I'm gonna, oh, do I bring both? Oh, this is gonna be the question of the day. Do I bring both? I think the answer of the day is also gonna be yes. I'm going to put these in the zip pouch on the side because palettes, I feel like, break the easiest. I do not want to break those palettes. I love them. Um, okay, so then now I have my two mascaras, Hourglass and Lancome. Put those out, gotta use it. And then I have the Nude Sticks. Big. I love this because you can like smoke it out and stuff. Um, and then I have the Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in the color Stella. I have a brown liquid eyeliner, a black liquid eyeliner. Brown is the uh, MAC brush stroke and then the black is this random one I picked up. Um, Brown Stick Eyeliner, Matte Costa Riche. Another option is Patrick Ta, just in case. Uh, and then LA Girl Black Liner. Let me throw these guys in here. If you do not have an eyelash brush and you have like long lashes, get yourself one. It's totally worth it. <laughs> one coat. I love this stuff. It is expensive. But mascara is like one of those things that I will invest in, just like a good pair of jeans or something. Anyone else have like two completely different eyes? Like, look at this. This eye is like up and curled and ready to present to the world. This eye is straight. Curled them both, did the exact same thing on both. Two completely separate eyes that don't communicate. So I'm going in with the Lancome Tinty doll or whatever. I'm just gonna try and pull these bad boys back up. So I did just take this little blade and, or not blade, that's the wrong thing, comb, and I'm just combing through my lashes. I'm getting any clumps out. One thing I used to do in high school all the time that I like stopped randomly doing and then I saw it on TikTok recently, so I started doing again, is you take your face back and you really just like press your lashes up like blink them down I used to do this all the time in class like it was a n nervous twitch or something I would always just like mess with my eyelashes like this and I remember coming out of like English class once and my friend was like your eyelashes look really really good I had just spent the whole class just pressing them up like we're back to life, baby. So that is my makeup look. I'm gonna throw the rest of the brushes in here and we're gonna hop in to the rest of it. This is a long video, guys. Buckle up, but I promise it'll be it'll be good stuff. So these are the bags that I have to choose from. I can use my gym bag, fit all my makeup in there. These are my toiletries. 
just travel stuff. I have a backpack in a base bag, roller, carry-on thing, and then a check bag. So I think the plan is I'm definitely bringing this because I can check it and just get rid of it. I'm going to see all the travel size and I'm gonna pack up all the toiletries first. I think that's the plan right now. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I have packed up my toiletry thing over there. I am making more of a mess, but that's okay. We're gonna clean it up. I did print out this list and I just kind of like wrote stuff down that I need to pack. I have this like travel jewelry thing. Um, I have packing cubes. Obviously, I'm scared this is gonna like explode, so it's in its own little carrying case. Um, and then I do have a neck pillow and a blanket. The flights are not that long, but I am gonna be traveling from like 8 a.m. my time to I think it's like four o'clock West Coast time. So five o'clock Colorado time. So it's gonna be a long day and I just wanna be comfortable. So, I am going to, I have to like focus and like pay attention, otherwise I will forget something. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm packing sunglasses and I don't know if I should, I feel like these look really like small on my face. Yeah, they look like a little small. And then I have, I have these, I just got these. These are definitely bigger. I kind of like these. Maybe I'll bring these. And then I also have like a fun trendy pair. So maybe I'll throw these in my like bag with me. Look at these. They're huge and they're just so funky and different. And they're polarized. So these are great. Um, there we go. Um, yes, they are bigger, but I don't know. Love some funky fun sunglasses. So I think I'm going to bring those too. Thanks for helping me. Have I worn any of these in the past, ever since I got them? No, am I gonna bring them and tell myself I'm gonna wear them? Yes. Like I said, I'm the world's worst overpacker. Um, I think that I need everything because I just, I hate getting somewhere and then I just don't feel confident because I didn't bring something that I would rather have or, I don't know. Let's do the beach stuff now. Oh, actually I need to get some accessories. Okay, so I'm gonna wear my 444 necklace like always. Um, I'm probably not going to wear any rings on the plane because my fingers fall. Okay, so I am bringing the like gold snake necklace and then my happy smiley face ring, a ring for my thumb if I want it, my chunky gold one, and then the like chain link one. So I'm just gonna bring some like fake diamond earrings, I think. That's it, cause I'm gonna wear my 444 necklace that I wear all the time. I just have it off right now because I put on self tanner last night. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm like slightly terrified about how much I'm going to overpack. I just feel like I need so much because I'm gonna be gone, I think it's a total of 12 days or something. And I just, it's a long vacation and I feel like I need bits of home. Okay, so that's my jewelry. Sometimes I do bring this ring that Ryan's grandma, or it's Ryan's grandma, he gave it to me. It's not an engagement ring, it's just like a ring. Um, I sometimes will wear that, but I think I'm gonna leave it just cause I don't want to lose it okay. now we're moving on to the beach stuff so i need swimsuits a cover-up flip-flops and a hat i am sweating it is 2 13 currently i am extremely overpacked i know that but i feel like i need everything that's coming with me but let me show you what I have. So this is all gonna go in my base bag. I am, I think I'm just gonna bring that because I do have shoes in the bottom compartment. And then I have this filled with shoes and like heavier things. 
And then that's just really light stuff over there with some, I have like my overalls and cover-ups for the pool over there, curling iron, just some random stuff that I don't really want to get broken. Um, and then I did fit everything in here. So I brought like a lot of random t-shirts because I just feel like I'm such a t-shirt gal and I know that I will wear them. And like, I just throw them on to lounge in them. My airport outfit, um, I will show you in the morning, but it's going to be my Nirvana sweatshirt because it, I'm leaving at 8 a.m. leaving. So we're gonna leave the house at like five because I'm hearing horror stories about the airports. My Vitality tank. I'm gonna throw my hair in a baseball cap so I have my Nike one and then I'm gonna pack my New York one so I just have variety. I'm gonna wear my Air Force Ones and then I am gonna wear my Lululemon joggers. I am freaking like burnt out. This is stuff that I have decided to not bring. Like this is my pile of don't bring, don't need it. But Dak, Dak could come with me, really? Hi, good girl. Hi. I wish I could pack my dog, but I love the fact that she'll be home with dad. So she'll be good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna continue. I'm packing up my work stuff now. So that's why I kind of grabbed the camera. I am exhausted, you guys. But we're gonna finish and we're gonna finish strong. We're gonna finish early so that we can go to bed early. We can eat early, everything like that. Um, yeah, my hair is still like a disaster, whatever. Okay, I'll catch up with you when I completely finish this and I'll let you know how it goes. Good morning, guys. It is like right before 5 a.m. I never finished the packing vlog, so I am here to finish it. So let me show you. I got everything in this one bag. I did do like three rounds of taking extra stuff out. So it is a little bit lighter and then in here, I literally just have like a blanket and my leg swing thing and some toiletry stuff and then my laptop. Mainly work stuff and then some shoes and stuff. But I fit everything, so hopefully it is under 50 pounds. Wish me luck and I will see you guys on the other side.